Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody has been having a great day. Super happy to be back with my 120,000 subscriber special at Adios Golf Club. Probably one of the most exclusive golf clubs in Florida. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna take you guys along for my 18 hole round here. I know it's been a while. I know it's really because I'm taking golf more seriously. I'm really trying to get serious about going to the next level at some point. Um, so it's been taking a lot of practice. So I'll be doing my best to keep you guys up to date and keep taking you guys along for the ride when I play golf. And uh, yeah, so let's hop into it. If you guys enjoy this, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and like the video and uh, let's get into it. So that was definitely a solid tee shot there to open up the uh, round. A little bit shorter than I expected, kind of a little um, surprised by that, but I am in the fairway, I am in good shape. Have about 240 left. You can see the flag all the way out there, kind of over that water. Gonna play this with a bit of a draw, I'll have it coming from the right. I want my miss to be right, so I don't have to flirt with the water. So probably gonna hit a five or six iron and see if we can knock it on and have a putt for eagle. So unfortunately, I did exactly what I said I didn't want to do, and I was overdrew it and pulled it just a bit left. Didn't miss it by a lot from 245 out, but as you can see, there's really not too much that has to happen for it to get into that water right there. So a big mistake there, gotta move on. Let's see if we can get up and down. I'm gonna drop, have about 40 yards left. Let's see if we can make it five. So I hit a pretty good chip shot there, caught a nice little low spinner. Looks like I'm gonna have about six feet left here and uh, see if we can knock it in for a five. All right guys, so on to hole two, definitely not a great start. It is what it is, uh, moving on. So 446 yard, par four, gonna be trying to hit a driving iron just a little bit right of that uh, bunker and uh, yeah I'm gonna try to get myself in good a good position Alright guys, so there's my ball ended up, flag is a little bit in the back, so got 120 left, definitely can hit a good shot from here, looking forward to uh, really getting this round going early and uh, see if we can knock it close. So unfortunately, you can see it landed right there, pins right there, and there's a big knoll, and went all the way back to there. So got about 35 feet, tried to make my three, and uh, at worst, make a four. So not a bad four there, pretty good two putt. On the hole three, 398 yard par four. Let's see, just have it a little bit, want to have just a little bit left of that fairway bunker out there. And uh, so let's try to get this ball in play.
All right, it's so not a terrible spot here. Just did get it over this bunker. Not quite back in the fairway, but still a pretty good spot. For about 120 to the left, you can see the pin kind of hanging over the water. So I want to throw this over, spin it back, and try to knock it close. All right, well, that was just a terrible shot. I'm not even getting mince words. I was just bad. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm really trying to learn to take it more in stride and to not be too upset when I hit bad shots. So we're just going to keep moving on. So I'm going to be taking a drop, taking the entrance of the hazard and the line of the target back. And have about 73 yards here. Going to try to throw it over the pin and uh, spin it back and uh, see if we can do some damage control here. This looks like we got about right around 15 feet left for uh, my five. Let's see if we can knock it in and uh, see if we can try to start getting this round going. So really happy to save five there. It's a good lesson, and that's a lesson I'm learning myself, and I'm gonna need to learn to be a successful professional golfer one day. You gotta keep fighting. This game's gonna beat you up, and the people that let it beat them up, the people that feel sorry for themselves, think the game's out to get them, those are the people that get their butt kicked. And um, you really just gotta stay in it, keep fighting, and just keep playing. So it's a good lesson there. Um, next hole, par three, 175 yards. Gonna go with a nine iron, try to work it in a little bit from the right and see if we can hit a good shot. Well, that's definitely not ideal. So, <laughs> gonna try to splash it out, let it chunk and run up to the hole. Gonna need a lot of speed for the shot, so let's see if we can pull it off. Alright guys, so another tough hole, really just trying to stay positive at this point, haven't really had much go my way today. Just going to keep playing, just going to keep grinding, that's really the name of the game is. So on to the fourth hole, already feels like I've played nine holes. 393 yards, right back into the wind, pretty much want to put it at the right edge of that bunker, and let's get a good shot here. All right, guys, I hit a pretty good shot here. Got 130 left. To try to bring it in with a pitching wedge and really try to get something going and try to hit a good shot here. All right, so honestly, a pretty sensible shot because when the flag sticks right there, you cannot miss left, so. Looks like I got about a 20, 25 footer. This is definitely very makeable back up the hill. So <laughs> I definitely like a three on this hole. So let's see if we can make that happen. Guys, that was a pretty good four there. Really thought that was gonna go in. Um, nice to hit a good putt and I'm gonna really try to build off of that. 
on hole five, 560 yard par five. And it pretty much try to put it right at that bunker, maybe a little bit left of it. And I just want to say something else. I um, mean, feel free to skip through this. I'll, I'll give you guys a little timestamp at the bottom. We can skip to the next shot. But um, I took about, right, just about a three week break from YouTube. Um, I think it's worth saying why. It wasn't for any particular reason actually, but I've just been working really hard in my game. I've been, I've been trying to figure everything out. I've been trying to get on a path where I can start to elevate my game. I'm trying to learn how to, you know, handle bad starts, good starts, and put together 18 holes of good golf and ultimately 72 holes of good golf. Essentially, I would rather be on y'all's TV screen than on a computer screen or whatever on YouTube. Now, I, I love doing YouTube, but I know that you guys would probably rather see me out on tour. And, you know, that's something I'm really getting serious about. That's something that's pretty much the only goal of my life right now. Um, I'm really pushing for it, and it's going to take a long time, years, quite frankly. People think, oh, you can be there in a year. Well, no. I think my skill level will be pretty close in a year, but I think in terms of understanding all the little things to shoot good scores, like, for example, hole one and then hole three, I hit two shots into the water on my approach. PJ Tour pros would never even miss close to those, sh those spots. They might miss that big once in a while, but their misses are going to be better. So it's those kinds of things I need to learn because I'm not necessarily playing bad right now. I'm just scoring horrendously. And tour pros, I've, they play pretty good, but they don't always play as um, unbelievable as a lot of people maybe think. But what they do, they just score unbelievably well. Um, and I was at the Honda Classic, and I really studied that and really took it in. So that's kind of what I got going on right now. I'm definitely going to make sure to keep putting out videos for you guys, but I'm telling you, Everything I'm doing from the you know the mini tour events I play in this year and ultimately hopefully more serious big events in the next year or two, it's geared towards trying to make that happen, trying to make it on tour or at least get very close and you know see see what I can do. So that's kind of the goal of what I'm doing. And uh, so let's get back into the video. I guess get get back into the round. Hole five going to be letting it fly with the driving iron. So we're a little bit long, pulled it a bit left. So the green is kind of right through there. So I would need to kind of hit a bit of a, a hook around these trees. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with that play. I'll probably just lay up, but we'll see kind of the yardages. I'm about 260. We'll just kind of see how I feel over the ball and we'll go from there. So that was a pretty good shot. It was about a 70 yard hook, but we were able to work back on, on in the play. And uh, that's when you're in trouble, first mission, get it back in play. And we did that, so I'm excited. 123 left. We can really try to attack here. Pins in the back right center. So if we can uh, hit a good shot here. Well, that was a heck of a shot. By far my best shot of the day. Hit that to maybe two feet. You can see here, that is just absolutely tight. Got it to land right about here, just over the mound, bounced up and then side spun right back to the hole. So that was perfect. Okay, so that was a great four. Really hard working there. So again, staying in it, keeping playing, fighting hard. That's what golf's all about. Now in the next hole, par three. 208 yards to the pin. Pins up a little bit front. Can be going with an eight iron and taking dead aim.
All right, guys, so missed a little bit long right here. And this is an example of what I was talking about a couple holes ago. The biggest thing that impresses me with the pros is they will never miss there. They won't, they won't miss where I just missed. And um, they'll miss left or short, and that's the difference. So I have a very, very tough chip shot, and you know they might have almost a guaranteed up and down, even if they missed by the same margin according to the target. So that's the big thing that's kind of popping at my head right now that I gotta improve on. So that being said, let's try to get out of this and uh, let's try to scramble and make a three. All right guys, so not a good hole. On to the next hole, 403 yard par four. Gonna be just trying to put it pretty much right at that little dip in the trees there and uh, set myself up for a nice little wedge shot. Guys, so it went pretty wide right there. I am still okay. I do have a pretty good shot in here. 133, fairway's all the way over there. So um, the pin is right around there. Just gotta kind of play a bit of a low trap draw. Um, probably go with the pitching wedge and let's see if we can um, hit it close. All right, guys, here's what I got to the left. Probably about 40 feet, a little over a knoll, right to lefter. Definitely played safe there. You really don't want to be left with this hole. So let's see if we can uh, make a good putt and maybe even make a long range birdie. So that was another pretty solid four after where I hit my tee shot. So on the hole nine, 457 yard par four. Still not enough room for me to hit driver, unfortunately, so I will be hitting driving iron. And gonna be probably putting it at the furthest right bunker you see right there. And uh, get myself in position to get aggressive on the approach shot. Guys, that's a pretty good shot here. Got about 200 yards left dead into the wind. Pin is way back. So definitely gonna be another pretty decent sized shot here. Probably gonna go with a seven or an eight depending upon if I wanna work it right or left. So see if we can uh, hit a good shot here. Well, that was, that was tough to take. I hit such a perfect shot in there. Even clubbed a bit up to account for the wind. And you know what? Let me just show you where this ball landed. You can see kind of the slope up here. And so it landed right there. You can probably even hear the wind. That's where it landed and rolled down the slope all the way back down to there. Another three yards, I would have had about a 15 footer. So it is what it is. Let's see if we can two putt. And, so be a good for this is this hole is just playing brutal today with this headwind and it's even tougher because I can't hit driver it's there's not enough room 
So I have to lay back to 200 yards and yeah. So let's see if we can two putt from here and make it four. All right, so that was a really good four there. I think I shot a 39 in the front, um, but as you guys know, I said this in a vlog, I think, actually my last one, I've been making an effort really not to try to keep a running total of my over par, under par score. Um, but So I haven't really been keeping track, but I do believe I'm, th I'm I shot a 39, which is okay considering how I started. I've really been fighting today. I haven't really felt super sharp. I mean, actually I have felt decent. I just feel like I've been missing in bad spots and then trying to play catch up. So we're gonna keep going on, hole 10, about 310 to the flag. It's definitely a drivable hole, but look where that flag is. That is in the front edge, so. Gonna be going again with the driving iron, and I know you guys like seeing me hit driver, and I do hit driver when possible, but I'm also trying to learn how to play the game again, so it's good to hit driving iron, get it in play, and really just try to play the game well. So, see what we can do, see if we can hit a good shot off the tee here. All right, so it's a pretty good shot here. It's actually really close to the flag. Um, just a slight pull, but all in all, not a bad spot here. See if we can get under the ball, hit a good shot, and knock it closer. Even, this would be a great hole to make it too. How about that? So I was a bit of a tough four there. Thought I had good read, um, just un overread it a little bit. But on to the next hole, hole 11, 434 yard par four. Just wanna put it in between those two bunkers and should have a nice little wedge into the hole. All right guys, so I pulled it a bit left. Got about 140, just left of the car path. Pin is right in there, so give me going with the 46 degree wedge. I mean, sorry, 48, and, uh, and try to put a good swing out there. Very fortunate there. I didn't do a good job of reacting to the lie I had. Put it a little too far up my stance on a downhill slope and I caught it really heavy. Luckily I did get over the water, so I got left here. Probably gonna try to play a bit of a bump and run into the fairway right about there. Kind of let it skip up and uh, try to make a four. That was pretty rough. Um, I had the wrong read and I knew it over that ball. Should have uh, gone back and adjusted that. So that was not a good five. On to the next hole, hole 12, par three. 179 yards to the flag. Pins a bit back right today, so. Bit of a tricky wind here, so if I can get it back into that last shelf, that'd be really good. Probably gonna hit a nine iron and uh, maybe an eight, just depends on kind of how the wind feels at the moment and see if we knock close. Shot here, honestly, with where the flag was, that was again a very sensible shot. 
Um, and it's very encouraging to see that I'm able to start hitting shots that I think pros would hit, meaning hitting shots in a position I think pros would want to leave themselves off the tee. Because if you look here, it's about probably 30 feet straight up the hill, very easy putt. And if you're right, you cannot get up and down from there. Very low chance. So it's really nice to see that I am starting to put the ball in a good tactical spot off the tee. That sets me up nice for my next shot. All right guys, on hole 13, 539 yard par five. And here, it's gonna be going pretty much right at that fairway bunker out there and try to put myself in a good position and then go from there. All right guys, so really good shot here in the fairway. 250, you see the pin kind of hanging over that bunker on the right. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to hit here. It's a bit of a weird wind situation, um, but I'm, I'm starting, I'm leaning towards a four iron and just kind of trying to put it into the left center, center part of the green. And if I come up short, I don't feel like that's a terrible spot. So let's see if we can uh, hit a good shot here. All right guys, so that was not a good shot. I'm in a really tough spot here. I'm just gonna take a massive hack at this and try to hit it over that tree and, I, and see if we can get it on the green. That's really all we're trying to do at this point. All right guys, so I did get it up and over. At least we are putting. That was just a terrible second shot there. Really didn't think it through. Um, should have played to miss left and I let it miss right. So now I'm just trying to make a five here. So let's see if we can get this down in two. guys is just gonna keep plodding along under the next hole 425 yard par 4 once again just gonna keep it right at those bunkers there and try to get myself set up for my approach shot All right guys, so just a little bit left. Just did get into the hazard here, which is kind of crazy actually that it goes out this far. Um, really, I mean, the entire thing, it just juts out a little bit here. So got about 163. I'm just gonna be trying to get this, you know, right on top of that hole. It's in a pretty accessible spot. So let's see what we can do. Oh. All right, so that was not a very good shot. Didn't catch it very flush. Beating the hazard definitely threw me off a bit. So I got 54 yards left here. Just trying to get it right over that bunker and see if we can get up and down. All right, guys, not a good shot. I'm, I really am starting to get pretty frustrated. Just trying to kind of keep playing, keep grinding, and try to put up a respectable score at this point. So 
Got about 50, 20 feet here for four. Let's see if we can make it. All right, guys, so on hole 15, a little over 400 yard par four. I'm gonna try to put it just over that left edge of that tree and give myself a look at a birdie. I mean, look at a three. All right, guys, so pretty good tee shot here. 171 left to the pin. Pin is in the back edge, so I'm gonna play this a little bit left to the pin and play tactical, play a bit under the hole. So I'm gonna play about 165 and try to give myself a makeable putt for three. Get down, 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 get down. All right, guys, so I didn't quite get it all the way back there. Landed right around there and kind of spun back a bit, but definitely don't mind that. Um, it is not fun to be long at this hole, so with this pin here. So didn't quite get it all the way back to that back tier, but we still definitely have a putt that we can give it a run and uh, see if we can make a three or at the very worst, make a four. Guys, so another not terrible four. Kind of still just plodding along. On hole 16, 342 yard par four. The green is up ahead of the left. And uh, so it is reachable with my iron. And I know you guys want to see me do it. So here's what I'm gonna do. That is not how I normally play this hole. So I have a six iron. I'm gonna use my six iron, hit the shot I would hit. And I'll hit my three iron and we'll take it right at the hole and we'll see uh, where they end up. All right, <laughs> that was an awesome tee shot there. Um, I think there's a good chance I might have gotten that on the green. That was absolutely perfect. I don't know if it got there, we'll see. That looked like it had a pretty good line. So um, I think my six iron should be in the fairway, have about maybe 100 yards, but we're gonna drive past it and up to the green and we're gonna see if, um, see if my ball made it first before we hit our second shot. You ready to see where it ended up? There she is, green's right there. Honestly, you can look at all the water, it's really treacherous all over, so this is its not too bad of a spot, to be totally honest with you. And I, I, gotta, I gotta say, I played this course a few times, I've always kind of laid back where I am right there. I almost feel like it's not a bad idea with when you have a decent wind to hit, this, hit the iron, so. Um, I mean the driving iron, so. Yeah, that would've been a good one to play. So I'm gonna go back, I am in the fairway back there. If you can see it all the way back there. By the looks of it, I have about an 80 to 90 yard shot in, so we'll see if we can get that close. And by the way, there is the pitch mark. It landed there, kind of probably banked. I'm guessing it probably kicked up there and then kind of rolled back into the rough there. There's a pretty steep hill, so it got there. All right, guys, so I got 75 yards left, right about what I was thinking. Can be hitting 58 degree wedge. Let's skip up and just try to hit this to tap in distance. Hi 
right, guys, hit a really good shot here. I'm just a little bit past the pin. That was honestly a pretty tough shot. You can see kind of the hill down there. So let's see if I can can this one for a three. So that sucked. I mean, I don't know. I'm just not able to, these greens are perfect. These greens are smooth. It's because I suck. Um, honestly, I'm just having trouble getting comfortable with how good these, like, I don't even know. I mean, I'm just having trouble with the reeds, having trouble with my stroke right now. So I'm just gonna have to work on that after the round. So on to the next hole, par three, hole 17, 185 yards. Pretty breezy, so it's gonna be a bit tricky. So let's see if we can uh, knock it close. All right, guys, so not a good shot. I'm gonna have a really tough flop shot here. And we'll see if we can make our three. So I'm not gonna lie, it's been a tough round so far. It's just, I don't know, I have a lot of work to do. I am very optimistic that my golf will get better. I'm very confident of that because I'm gonna work my butt off. I don't care what I have to do to get better, I'll find a way to get better. I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna get better. That's all that really matters. So on hole 18, we can finally break out the big stick we got right there. So we can try to hit a cut just around those bunkers and Give ourselves a short shot in on this par five. Guys, so here's where I ended up. Pulled it just a bit left. See the pin out there. I gotta probably do a little under over maneuver here. Got 210 left. And either gonna hit a cut or a little draw, something like a six iron or seven iron, probably. All right, guys, here's what I got left just about a 15 20 yard pitch shot. Gonna have to get some spin on this, but not a terrible result. Definitely glad I was able to work it enough to get it back into the fairway. A little bit short, but See if we can uh, bounce on up there. <laughs> 